Okay, let's do another, uh, let's do another uh, pen point. And let's do, I guess we're all set up, everything's going. And let's do another pen point starting right now. And this episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Netflix. Uh, I told this story to the pre-interviewer for George Lopez, and they probably won't get to it on their show, so I'll tell it here. Uh, when Teller and I first started working together, uh, I was very romantic, very romantic about show business. And I thought, you know, we were the Beatles or something. So my rule, it was an absolute rule I set, was that we would not do any work outside of show business. We would do exclusively show business and nothing else. And the first one of us, we were three people then, the first one of us that took a job outside of show business, that would be breaking up the group because we were a band. And what we did was show business, and we wouldn't do any other jobs. It was very easy for me to say because I got out of high school on a plea bargain. I didn't know how to do anything at all. My choices were show business or prison. And Teller was a tenured high school classics teacher, teaching uh, high school uh, Latin and Greek at Lawrence Township High School uh, in New Jersey. And if he had stayed on one more year instead of quitting to work with me, he would have had John Stewart from The uh, Daily Show as his student. And John Stewart's goal in life is to become more famous than Teller so that Lawrence High School is known as John Stewart Land instead of known as where Teller used to teach. And I believe John Stewart has accomplished that in spades. So we would all, we would do any shows that were offered to us, any shows. We would do $30 birthday parties. We would do Philadelphia 76, which was a celebration of the 200th anniversary of the United States of America by having shitty acts in the rain out in back of the art museum. We were part of that. But also we got this gig, and it's a gig no one else would take, where we were offered this gig playing for uh, underaged felons. So these were children under the age of 18 who had committed, I guess in most cases, capital crimes. I mean, this was like murder one, armed robbery, and rape for children under 18 years old. And somebody, in their infinite wisdom, thought that what these children should have, uh, I guess, you know, after before they go into adult prison, is a show, is a magic show, is a magic show by pen and teller, okay? So this is the, this is the crazy, crazy thing. They hire us, and we go to like this maximum security prison. Because although they're children, they kill people, okay? They kill people. And the ratio of guard to child is like what any gay daycare center in the world would love. Any daycare center in the world would love this. It was like a guard for every five children every five child rapist murderers. And when I say child rapist murderers, I don't mean someone that rapes and kills a child. I mean a child who rapes and kills. Woo! So there we are to do our little magic show. And we do the magic show, and, uh, and we're out there and tell her at that point in the show, I would juggle knives. I juggled a lot of knives, and I would um, eat fire. And Teller swallowed a hundred needles, you know, very dramatically, it's Teller. And uh, six feet of thread and vomit the needles up threaded, which he still does occasionally in our shows. Usually not in Vegas, because we have so much material. But we go on the road, you can see Teller do that. He still does it after, you know, 35 years. He's still, he's still doing that trick. And we do this whole act. And we're sitting, I mean, really, we're standing. Uh, people are sitting, you know, on the floor in front of us like that distance from us on the floor, rapists, murderers, and we're juggling and telling jokes and doing magic tricks. And we did our 45 minutes, and at the end, they were so thrilled with us. The guards took us out, the, the, the audience, you know, was a hard crowd. <laughs> And, uh, and afterwards, the guards were like thrilled with us, and it turned out in all the time they'd had this facility running, and in all the acts they brought in, we were the only ones who had ever finished the show 
for these children. We got all the way through and they actually applauded and they let us bring knives into this maximum security thing and juggle them and fire and needles and fire. I don't know what you do. I don't know how you make a shiv out of fire, but still seems like dangerous stuff in a prison is not a good idea. And to give you an idea of what kind of hard-working assholes we were and are, when we were off-Broadway in New York City, off-Broadway in New York City, being reviewed by the New York fucking Times, we still had on our books the next year to do that New Jersey child correctional facility to perform for underage rapists and murderers. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, we we're such carny trash, we, were, we really did not believe that the off-Broadway show was actually going to be successful and we'd actually make any money at that. So we were ready to go back to playing um, children's correctional facilities. So when people tell you about shitty shows they've done, keep in mind, Penn and Teller, you know, we played child's correctional facilities for felons, for like big, serious crimes, okay? And uh, that's my advice, anybody in show business, don't have anything to fall back on. Because believe me, if you have something to fall back on, when that correctional facility in Jersey calls and asks you to do a show for people under 18 who committed murder and rape, you're going to do the other job. You're going to do the job you're going to fall back on. You aren't going to do the show business show. You're going to leave that to the people like Ben and Teller. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. Watch as many movies as you want. Shipping is free. There are never any late fees or no due dates. Keep the movies as long as you like. DVDs by mail, plus instantly right to your TV. Get unlimited movies two ways for only $8.99 a month. But as a new member and a PenPoint viewer, you can get a free trial membership. And go check it out, man. I mean, go to the website, go to netflix.com slash pen. This guy is the uh, anti-vax doctor. It's the anti-vaccination guy that started this whole thing. He's no longer a doctor. He's just a regular asshole. If you are busted, please do. Do not say anything and insist on a lawyer. Every situation where you're talking to police, say as little as possible. The word, isn't it a beautiful word when you think of it? It just conveys everything, the word. That's a crazy person talking!